Well, this is going to be a real short video. Um, I've done a lot of research. I ended up installing the uh, flush mount turning signals, as you can see on the rear, as opposed to the really, really big and gaudy alien looking kind. Um, I had LEDs on the front as well, uh, and then I installed the rear ones, and nothing would work. I mean, not even the little indicator to let me know that the turn signal was on when I was flipping the switch on. Uh, started diagnosing a bunch of stuff, uh, making sure I had power going to everything, all that. Um, still wasn't really figuring out anything. Uh, ironically, which was a weird thing, was the rear brake light ended up going out. Um, the bulb was blown. Uh, it didn't even look blown, which was the crazy part. Um, so, got that replaced, you know, took that scenario out of it. Um, got on Google, got on YouTube, all these other places trying to figure out what's going on. All I kept finding out was the speed, the speed of the flasher. Like, get this thing, fixes the speed of the flasher. Nothing, no one was talking about not working at all. I'm like, nothing. <laughs> So, um, I ended up getting a hold of the 12 o'clock labs, uh, talking to the guy, and he ended up saying that they'd done spoke with probably just a few other people, it was very rare, but that they were running across the same issue. Um, not like everyone, everyone was running into the uh, flashers going really fast when they'd swap to the LEDs, um, but no, this one was just not working at all. So, um, I'm gonna make this little clip, mainly just to, uh, clarify for people that may run into the same little issue that I had as far as them just not working at all. Um, yeah, I'm not going to break it down step by step. I mean, it's pretty basic. You take this cover off, pull this off. I don't even think you have to take this cover off, to be honest. Pull the reservoir off. The wire's back there. Just unplug it, plug it in, zip tie it onto there because it doesn't have the same rubber mount as the factory. It's just this block and a little rubber piece to hang it on. So just use the zip ties. And that's all you need for the uh, 17. You don't even need none of this stuff. Um, their directions break it down real simple for you, especially if you are just not the brightest. But yeah, right here is the uh, 12 to 16. It's a little different. It's located up near the horn, near the front of the bike, like right in this area. Um, but 17, I don't know if I just said the 17. The 17, which is what I have, is behind that reservoir. So it's, uh, I mean, it explains everything for you. Yeah, let's uh, get to it and yeah. So it's gonna be this little plug back here can see that um, you can kind of just push it up off of its hanger in there uh, yeah this little guy right here just gonna unplug it Let's see if I can pull it out this side right here There we go. So yeah, just gotta unplug this and plug in the new one. Let's test the theory real quick and see if it works. Wow. Slow blinking LED. It's 
Tá só É aqui, ó. Well, I hope that helped as far as uh, somebody running into the same issue that I had with it just not working. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, I think this was like $29 um, through the uh, 12 o'clock labs. Um, I'll try to get their link in the description below for you and everything, but uh, yeah. That's it. Throw a little zip tie back in there and finito. Alright, I need to give a big thanks to 12 o'clock labs. They definitely helped me out with this. Especially when uh, none of the forums or anything was really even talking about none of them working. Um, yeah, so the uh, fix rate flasher also fixes it when it just does not work as opposed to just the uh, flashing fast for the LEDs. So. I end up swapping these back over to the uh, LEDs that I had on here. And yeah, appreciate 12 o'clock labs and the fixed rate flasher. Hope y'all enjoyed this little clip. Um, got some more videos coming pretty soon. Bye.